my mum's told me that for many years. I need to stop being a doormat with people. I need to, you know. But I told him I loved him and he just shrugged his shoulders and says, says, I don't know what you want. If you tell someone you love them, isn't it obvious what you want, a relationship? But I was about to get my ticket and the ticket man says, uh, one or two, um, and, and I didn't know anything because I was hoping that Daniel might say both of us, but he said one. So I cost myself extra money to come back at a different time. <laughs> and I costed myself extra money going down because um, Daniel was watching TV. So and we had to rush to the coach station and we missed, we missed our coach by 10 minutes. There was a lot of traffic. So we had to get the later coach. We had to pay an extra 15 or extra 19 pounds down, and I had to pay an extra 13 pounds back. Um, but I'm not really bothered about that. It's more, it's more how he is, really. It's just. <sighs> he says, Why aren't you there for him? But I've tried to explain to him that the reason I, the reason I have days apart from him is because I feel scared of him. I've tried to explain this to him. Um, and it's not just him, there's been a few of my partners in the past. I can think of at least two more of my exes who who I felt like, who I felt nervous of if I spent too much time with them. If I, yeah, so, so I'm just saying really, you know, what? I'm not slagging Daniel off, I don't want to slag him off, I hope... I hope he has a good life. I hope he has the best and that. And I've been praying a lot for him. I've been praying all night for him because I couldn't sleep. Um, and I will keep praying for him and his family. But it just, I don't know. It just, it's just, it is a big disappointment. I've got to say. I mean, this bed. I've got, you know. I mean, mind you, I needed a new bed anyway. So, but. Yeah, I'm not really bothered about that either. It's more the fact that I feel like I'm not loved when I'm with him. I don't feel loved. He goes off to Reddit or he goes off to... I thought we was going to have a good time in London. I mean, we, we, we nearly had an argument on the way down there because we, we missed the coach and then he started snapping at me and then, I, and then I walked off and then I met up with him again and said, should we try and get... Should we try and go down there still? Uh, yeah. He says such hurtful things, and I can't, I can't think of any hurtful thing. He just, I don't want to put all the blame on him, but he was saying to me, when I come up in May for my suitcase, it's only March now, so he's, uh, yeah, he can't be that bothered about it. But he says, when I come up in May for my suitcase, I don't want to see your, your face. And I just felt like, I just felt like, oh, okay, you won't, you won't see me. Yeah? I'll take it when to leave or something. But I don't feel like I'm slagging him off on YouTube. I don't feel like I slagged him off at all. I feel like I've been supportive to him. Is it bugging me? I mean, yeah. Well, I admit I'm not. I don't always come to his appointments because. When we are, when, when he starts snapping and stuff, I do say, should we have some days apart? And I've always said that in relationships because I live with someone for eight, ten, was it eight years? And, and that situation was very intense uh, because neither of us had much to do in the daytime and it was just very intense. So in my experience and my nerves, I feel like if I'm with someone all the time, I feel like it, it gives me panic attacks and anxiety attacks. And, um, yeah. So. <sighs> I can't think of anything more to say, so I might as well end it there.